हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल आई होप यू आर डूइंग वेल आई प्रे फॉर यू ऑल गॉड गिव यू अ लॉन्ग लाइफ एंड यू लिव ऑलवेज हैप्पी देयर प्लीज लाइक एंड शेयर दिस वीडियो एंड आल्सो सब्सक्राइब माय यूट्यूब चैनल आई हैव अ रिक्वेस्ट टू यू ऑल वॉच दिस वीडियो टिल एंड फॉर सपोर्टिंग मी सो लेट स्टार्ट टू डे इन्फॉर्मेशन दीज आर सम अपडेट्स ऑन दिन आर बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द वीडियो आई हैव टू टेल यू समथिंग गो टू गूगल डॉट कॉम and search to naropinions.com and open this site here you can see the latest news dinar opinions and dinar guru updates on a single page so visit this site for more information i am still hearing that things may kick off late on tuesday or early on wednesday on the rv front question are they waiting to see the results of the elections no Nobody gives a ka ka about our elections. They're only worried about themselves. There's nothing our government can do to influence anybody because we have no government, we have no leadership, we have no decision makers. From a source in the Middle East, Sadani has just stated that the currency transition should be completed by Victory Day. Victory Day is December 10th. This means things will be going right away if it is to be completed by that time. For many years, it hasn't seen much spotlight on the global stage in terms of digital trading platforms like Forex. Imagine having a treasure chest but never opening it. That's sort of how it feels with the dinar and Forex. But now, there's talk of change. The central bank of Iraq could soon shake things up. They plan to use domestic currency to hold up the exchange rate peg. What does that even mean, right? In simplest terms, an exchange rate peg is a way to stabilize currency value. Think of it as a safety net to maintain balance. Now, why does this matter to you or anyone else? Because it could change how the dinar is viewed, traded, and valued globally. Imagine watching an underdog movie where everyone roots for the unassuming hero. In this narrative, the dinar is the quiet hero stepping into the spotlight. From October 15th to 18th, CBI has plans that might just change history. How? By managing domestic currency liquidity. What they are doing is managing the flow of the dinar within Iraq. This becomes a dance of strategic planning, ensuring that there is enough money in the system. It means that they're trying to build a robust economy internally, paving the way for bigger moves. For forex traders or anyone interested in currency trading, this is like a plot twist in a thriller novel. One day, the dinar might be actively traded on platforms bursting with opportunities. This kind of change is not just about money. It's about potential growth and stability. Let's relate it to a simple daily experience. Imagine you're a gardener and you've been nurturing a sapling for years. One day, it starts to bloom. That's the kind of anticipation brewing in the hearts of those following the Iraqi dinar. The immediate outcome? It might not be flashy fireworks but rather a slow spark that ignites new possibilities. For Iraq, this is a move toward self-reliance and internal stability. For global markets, it presents an opportunity to look at the dinar as more than just another currency. And for you and me, it's a real-time lesson in how small economic decisions can ripple through the larger financial world. So, what can we do? Well, a quick call to action is to keep our eyes peeled. Stay informed. If you find this fascinating, connect with financial communities focused on currency markets. Do you know who might have a major influence on the upcoming US elections? Surprisingly, it's not just Americans but a community halfway across the world. What if I told the Iraqi community in Michigan could decide who becomes the next US president? Yes, you heard that right. Stay tuned to find out how this community could impact our entire nation and how Trump's promises might swing the votes in his favor. So, let's dive into this eye-opening scenario first. How did we even get here? Let's start with a bit of background during his campaign. 
Donald Trump made a significant promise he vowed to put an end to Iran's influence in Iraq now, why is this important? Because many Iraqis see Iranian influence as problematic they believe it hinders the stability and growth of their country and Trump's promise resonates deeply with many in the Iraqi community especially those living in Michigan speaking of Michigan, did you know it's home to one of the largest Iraqi communities in the U.S. Yes, this state's diverse population includes many Iraqis, who are seeking change but why focus so much on Michigan simply put. It's a battleground state in previous elections, we've seen how small shifts in voter behavior here can tip the scales the winner may be decided by just a handful of votes that's why every community's influence counts now, let's talk about Kamala Harris what does she offer Kamala's approach has been more inclusive and diplomatically focused but in contrast, it seems Trump's promise of removing Iranian influence aligns more closely with the Iraqi community's concerns imagine being an Iraqi voter in Michigan you're weighing your options on one hand, there's Trump promising direct action against Iranian interference. On the other, Harris with a broad perspective on international relations how would you decide it's like choosing between immediate reform or long-term diplomacy but let's also consider another angle Cato Sada Law, a U.S. affairs expert, pointed out something intriguing he suggested that it's the Iraqi community in Michigan that could be the tipping point why because their needs and priorities are directly addressed by Trump's promises and this targeted promise has put them at the forefront of this electoral battle now. Let's dive deeper into what these community voters care about for them. This isn't just about Iran or Iraq it's about the future of their families, both in the US and back home they see this election as a turning point. They believe the outcome will have a ripple effect on their lives across continents so, the decision isn't just political it's personal and here's the kicker these voters in Michigan could become the deciding factor we've seen historically close races where very few votes made the difference imagine if this community, with its unique set of concerns, swung the entire election it's possible, and history could be written right here in Michigan so, what do you think? Could the Iraqi community in Michigan change the course of US history or Trump's promises enough to sway their vote? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below and if you found this video insightful, don't forget to give us a thumbs up share this video with your friends and make sure to subscribe for more engaging content thanks for watching and see you next time.